with us. Reed will find me, and he and Johnny and Ben will take me back. I can breathe. Hey there. Wow, haven't seen you in ages. I just wanted to drop these old toys off. Is this Bonnie? Look how big you are. <laughs> Say hi, sweetie. Hi. Hey, how are your kids? M Molly and Andy? Not kids anymore. Andy's going to college on Friday. What? Can you believe it? You sure they won't miss these? No, they never get played with. Simmons! You don't look anything like the ad. You better be huge. You're the killer! Very clever, Lois. You shouldn't have stopped to say hi to me. You would have lived longer. God, why do I ever try to be friends with other women? You ruined everything! You couldn't stop being cheap, even for me! <laughs> I'll make it up to you somehow, girl! You bought me a boat? Oh, Daddy! I don't know how it could get better than this! <laughs> you don't have a prayer of finishing your mission. You're not even armed. Boss! I'm not your boss anymore. There's nothing for you here. Go home. Go back to your boss. Yay! What is up, my friends? Rob Fury here. Town of Relationship Specials here at Streamly.com. And as you saw in that amazing compilation, this is the woman of many talents, Laurie Allen. How are Thank you. Today? Oh, my gosh. Thank you. Am I looking here, right? Yeah, is that what we're That doing? is the main camera. That is, that is your Instagram. Woo -woo. That is the signing camera. Hi, Mom. No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. I should write that. Hi, Mom. Um, you guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I can't, oh, I can't thank you enough because I was in Dallas. Um, accepting a, a lovely like lifetime achievement award, which is like I'm not that old yet, but I'm very grateful. It was amazing. You're like in so your I couldn't mid find with everybody so else. Good. Duh. So. <laughs> that was so lovely. Thank you for putting that clip together. Absolutely welcome. And on top of that, in the in the chest right here, we have Mr. Scoot says, "Hey guys, Hi. we got we have the one uh, effing guy says, yo, Flory." What up? What, uh, yeah, start the signing already. That's hilarious. Yo, my dudes. Yo, we started Yo, the Lori, we're do gonna, the five. We're going to start five. the signing. What does do the five mean? Do, uh, do the five. I don't do you mean do the voice? That's my show. Oh, I think the boss just arrived. Well, that would explain things. That, that would explain. But I'm getting it, ready to sign some posters. You see, but the thing is that because you are the boss, right? You tend to be very strong and hilarious, almost as hilarious as you being on this show. <laughs> but, oh my gosh, I have such a great story about Family Guy. But yet again, you're not as funny as when you're on this show. SpongeBob SquarePants! <laughs> SpongeBob SquarePants! As, as hilarious. As you may be in this show, I'll tell you right now, the most warm and sweet thing is when you're a part of this. All right, I'm going to start to cry. You got a plan in me. I got, I got the boys and girl right here. You got a friend in me. <laughs> Oh, that's so. Oh, but yet again, don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, she was a part of this. That's right. Fantastic Four. Uh, 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 1994. 1994, it sounds and it looks like that. <laughs> Reed, I've got to get down from there. Remember we were doing the live signing? Uh, when just a dry scratch track, you sound like you're constipated after <laughs> having sex because all that effort noise is like, uh, uh, ah, uh, ah, get down from there. Please come back. And you're like, oh, my God. It's very crazy when you do a show like that. I, I, would, I would assume. I yes. would assume. Well, we have another question yes. from from that effing guy that says, do you like beans? I do because I'm a plant-based person. So I do have a lot of beans as my protein source, right? So that's that. a good thing. And um, the reason why we're not copyright strict because we're playing it at 1.25 speed, my friend. Hashtag industry tip. 
Um, yeah. See, I, I, got, I got to be taking notes. Yeah, I got to be taking yeah, notes. I'm a streamer. I'm a game streamer. So apparently, it's not to get What does that mean, a game streamer as opposed to a gamer? I, oh, I should know that. My nephew's a game streamer. Yeah, so the difference is that as a gamer, you play games. As a game streamer, you play games and you stream it and you're very vocal and very entertaining. And very like you, like Rob is. <laughs> Talk about talent. It's like, so it's like, it's like Olympics. Pop Warner. Oh, shush. So, shush, shush, shush. It's, uh, I just can't tell you guys. I'm, I'm so excited. There's music behind it. Hey, you two. What is that? What is your, I can't pronounce oh, I that. I cannot. That is uh, Sally Ful, uh, Fulzad Fad. Where, where are you guys? Is, Who's in hey, the house? Do we have like Portugal, Spain, yeah. France? Like, do we have lots of Everybody folks? drop where your origin is yes. in the comments. Where are you at? Right here, we're in beautiful, beautiful Northridge, Los Angeles, California. That's right. AKA hey, guys. I'm just checking who's on Instagram. This is so nice. Hey, guys. Um, I'm trying to see who. Oh, my God. There's lovely people in the house. Thank you so much, you guys. <laughs> this is so nice. Nice, nice, nice. Got to love it. I, I keep I trying to like, I was going to try to text my mom while doing all this and be like, mom, you always go, I miss these things and I want to know where to find you. So, well, you, you can know, text her right now. You, do, you, do you want to call your mom? Well, would I, t I have to tell her to go on YouTube to just go to, go to street, to go to YouTube. And can you guys all her. contact my mom and just tell her? Well, please do not. I may have if you. She on, if, she on, <laughs> uh, if she's on social media, then yes. Please do not try to like look at no, 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 mama, no, phone, no. Like and she'd be like, Lord, Lord, who the hell are these people? I don't know why she calls you yeah. Lord, Lord. No, she calls me Sweet Pea. Sweet, oh. My mom calls me Sweet Pea. Isn't that sweet? Me. I love that's that. Right. My stepdad calls me Sweet Pea, so that's just it's stuff. Just tiny sweet Pea. That's right. Tiny, 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 tiny little girl. But what we're going to start is we're going to start off with our first signing. And on top of that, by the way, if you want to get your stuff, Get your stuff, get your stuff, get your stuff. Go to streamy.com slash Lori Allen. Hello. Because we're going to start off with this big. Oh, my big gosh. So, this oh, is exciting. I See, I haven't seen this stuff, you guys. So this is really cool for me. I haven't I seen it. You have. Oh, around. but before we even do this. Yes. We have a request by Mr. Scoot. Hi, Look. Mr. Scoot. It's Look. Lori Allen. Well, actually, it's Pearl Krabs. And if you just love me forever, that would be so amazing because I love you. Everybody in Bikini Bottoms as Mr. Scoot. I don't know what that name really stands for, but I'm sure it's something funny, right, Rob? <laughs> oh, Daddy. I'm so sorry. Get a grip, Rob. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just turned Jimmy Fallon all over the place right now. Oh, my I just God. broke up my own. <laughs> like, you can't break. All right, sir, man. You know, I don't like when people break a lot like that. But Jimmy Fallon really does wait till the last it, last second because he gets such a kick out of what he does. That's why I feel the same with me. Yeah, but but he just like the like mm, I you see when he breaks, I get it. Like Will Ferrell's in, in his Oh no kidding. You Could can't, you imagine he, trying to keep a straight face with Will Ferrell doing oh, a scene with him? Oh of course, mm. in the hot tub. <laughs> My favorite thing with Will Ferrell is there's gotta be more cowbell. Oh yes. I, and oh, he's a yes. wonderful actor. He's a wonderful dramatic actor. Yeah. I've never met him, but if I did, I would be like, hey, Mr. Farrell. Yeah, hey. <laughs> but now, talking about the you love communists, yes. right here. Speaking of not showing addresses, though, oh. show his address. No, we, we just showed this. Week. Okay, good. Oh, that. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Nope, good. We're all good. Oh, my God. So, the first one. Oh, my God. This. Wow. So, oh my god. I am assuming that this came with uh it's a statue. And oh my <laughs> god, this is beautiful. That is a statue box. Thank you so much. I'm gonna take out and see what it says here. And <gasps> Um, that is a read first, it? Yeah, you could be more than one reader. Hello, Lori. Hello, Lori. Been waiting for this a long time. Sent you a few pictures of the matching box that David signed in person in Chicago a few years ago. The last live session, you signed this pa this print that I just oh beautiful. Oh, that's just gorgeous. Um, that I made. I think I might have you sign it with silver sharpie. Got it if possible, because you can't see the black on black. Got it. Anyway, thanks so much, and see you next session, George. Thank you, George, so much. 
This is beautiful. That is actually um, pretty awesome. And I love you have great penmanship. I'm very impressed. P.S. Could you sign it in the same place that David signed it? Thanks. It's my pleasure. You guys, check it out. This is beautiful. And I, I have to say that I can't find great stuff, so it always gives me really great ideas. To um, I'm going to keep that. Will you hold that for me? Absolutely. Thank you, Rob. Um, because I don't often find really cool stuff like you guys sometimes do. So thank you. Wait, sign where David did. Where did David sign? David signed it right on the front right here, right under. Right the under. Here, yeah. So if you wanted to sign it in the same place, isn't it be the same thing? No. Yeah. yeah. It, oh, you're right. Yeah. This is this is the one that. You oh, what am I saying? Yeah, so okay. That's, that's literally Sarah's name right there, girl. This is Hello. You. <laughs> this is, uh, Hello. She's like, mm-hmm. Um, statue. I want to actually find out how much this is because I'm assuming um, these statues are uh, are pretty crossfit. Um, yeah, this is so. This is what the actual figure looks like. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful! I think that that's the. Oh, no, wow. this is a. Is this the same one? Because I don't have a lot. I do have. That's, that's about it. Um. Oh my God, look at her in action. That's amazing. I'm afraid I'm going to like get something on this. You have to take this away from me, George. Well, so, so there's the signing you see. If you can't see it quite in silver, but there it is. And there it is. Thank you so much. Sorry, just a minute. Oh, look at her. She is badass. Yeah. Uh, you know I what I wish? That she could right, actually yeah. run for president in 2024. Wouldn't that be amazing if she was a real person? Because she will that. fight for her country like some others don't. I um, love you know, it's funny. Literally about an hour ago, well, half an hour ago, we had Senator Armstrong here, Alistair Duncan. You did? We did. And I thought that before before everything got moved back, I was like, oh, we're going to overlap and this is going to be awesome. But we had to push your back because of everything else. I'm like, oh. Oh, okay. no. Yeah, he oh, literally man. left here about a half an hour ago. Oh, my gosh. That's amazing. I so you never know what's going to go on over here. Thank you, right. George. So that's let me, incredible. Let me just, just that's how did it go that's amazing it was awesome actually it was it was we had a blast um he was like he was going expecting a half an hour i'm like no brother and we went like 51 minutes so that was that was pretty cool that's really and neat. he he got to have fun dropping a bunch of f-bombs i'm like this is yeah. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. and I'm like every time twice. Like, whoa, whoa. I'm like, Mother. Ah, sir, you yeah. can say, you can say. I'm like, I will let you say the first one, and he heard it. Fuck. Goddamn son of a bitch. I know. And except... our office manager literally was like, what, he, told her, okay he told her, there? he told her, he told her staff like, yo, need to chill. Yeah. And I got a text message. Please lower it down, especially the F bombs. I'm like, Oops. please simmer down now. I see a question. Yeah, we got questions. Okay, Let's go for okay, Daniel okay, okay. J. Anthony. So, for SpongeBob, were there any plans to ride in Pearl's Mall? Uh, like, did Mr. Krabs become greedy because of Pearl's Mom? I don't think he became greedy because of Pearl's mom. I think he's just a single dad trying to do the best that he can. That's what I think. And my mother, my real mother, says that she's mother of pearls. So there's always more that's gonna be revealed about this beautiful, infamous, mysterious knowledge of Pearl's mom. But it doesn't matter because she has personality enough for 14 other siblings and her own mom. It's crazy, it's really crazy. I think that it really is an example of how, how we can all just be a good daughter and be a spoiled little beautiful girl. So there you go. I'm doing great, Fernando. Um, um, we have the next else? question right here. Lori, which of the characters uh, that you've played is your personal favorite? That's a hard question. Which is my personal favorite? Oh, I mean, yeah. when I, um, I remember in the same year, I booked SpongeBob and Family Guy. So that was Whoa, crazy. In the same year? Yeah. And I was like, talk about luck. The talent, sure. Um, yay. But being <laughs> in the right place at the right time. I mean, it doesn't, there's not a day that doesn't go by that I'm not incredibly just, just filled with immense gratitude. Um, it was really fun in the beginning of spent, uh, Family Guy for a really long time. We were able to uh, do all the incidental voices. Like, so it was like me and Phil Lamar and, mm, oh my God, I'm having such a brain fart. Maybe somebody else can type it in. I can't remember. 
Um, so then, of course, it got to where everybody wanted to be on the show. So like, you know, Drew Barrymore's agent or Phyllis Diller or Ben Stiller, or whatever. Everybody was calling in to be like, can I get my client to be, you know, on Family Guy? So we didn't do as many incidentals, but we did our own, you know, our own characters, obviously. And I knew Seth when if you guys are really Family Guy fans, you're going to want to check out my skirt is caught. Sorry. You're going to want to check out um, Larry and Steve. Oh, yeah, the they're first, original. Yeah, it's like the pre family guy family guy. So I um, because I knew Chris Zimmerman, who cast SWAT cats when <gasps> Hannah Barbera was. Around, oh, my God. I love SWAT cats. And I love Chris. <sighs> so, uh, Chris Zimmerman Salter. I owe you my the, life from were, SWAT, were cats SWAT cats. Boss. Yeah. Excuse me. What Selena were you? Farrell. Gary Owens played my I'm the flying cat. I'm like a Jew, right? What's my I mean, title? I don't even, I, I, that name is like Lieutenant Lieutenant uh, Felina Farrell, I think. So um, so she was amazing. And Chris Zimmerman had me audition all the way through. She's like, let's make her really tough, not just like playing tough. So I F bombed my way through an audition. They bleeped it out, and that's how I got the job. Yeah. Chris Zimmerman had me. Um, oh my God. Yeah, Lu Lieutenant Felina Farrell. Oh my gosh, that's you. I did not know. I love SWAT Cats, man. I, I do too. I oh. do too. It was such a great show. Talk about on the job training because there was Jim Cummings and Charlie Adler and Candy Milo and Gary Owens. And I was just like, holy crap. So that was amazing. And Chris Zimmerman then brought me in to do this. Um, so she's like, there's this great guy, and he won like a. Um, a grant or something like that to do his his show here at Hanna Barbera, so it was Larry and Steve, and then Seth and I stayed in touch as pals and buddies. And back then, you know, you weren't texting. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. we would actually call, call. And write letters and notes. And like back in my back in my day, we did the phone like this. And you got um, a call before nine p.m. and say hello, Mister and Mrs. Such and Such, guys, be to Such and Such. Yes. What are you doing calling my house uh, after uh, this yeah. time? What are you calling my daughter for? <laughs> so that's what we did. And then when he first moved out, we um no then we lost touch then he came out and then i remember i was testing at the network of fox for lois and i walked in and i was like seth holy shit there he is and he's like you didn't recognize from the script that it's a you know a guy and his talking dog with the premise was was wildly different so i didn't know and then we reconnected and stayed in great touch so that was awesome so that that's that's my seth story he could he be any more brilliant and he I call and like play the piano for me over the phone. I'm like, can you just play me to sleep? Because he's a wonderful musician and an, a, just fantastic musician and singer. He's great. So that's that story. That that's a awesome. good story. Isn't that's it? A, that is a good what story. What else? How am I? I'm doing great. Uh, what else? Thank you, Fernando. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I, Thank I, I saw. you. We we we, pre we prefer um, elegant and um, lovely. But Isn't she lovely? You, you, could, you could say the S word as well. That is that is your prerogative. Sexy mother. <laughs> well, so I'm a true. huge Prince fan. So huge. Uh, like he's my everything. Love the print that I have on my desk. It's, what, do you, what is the print you have? Uh, on? We had one of uh, Prince's side dancers. Come on. So yeah. I love Prince. When he died, I just I like I cancel work. I can't. Really? Like, yeah. He's he's just an extraordinary human. I think near the end of his life. If I'm not mistaken, he was Jehovah's Witness. And so um, this isn't the right word, like he wasn't allowed, but he didn't boast or brag about, you know, you know, let's say 501 charities or anything like that. But he gave so much money back to Minneapolis alone and put people through college and helped people off the streets and would help other artists that were having hard times. And I remember Van Jones, an amazing, um, he's my CNN crush. Um, he's a wonderful uh, uh, journalist, and he spoke a lot about their relationship, and he cried. And he said, I'm going to say it now. He did this, this, and this for artists, for communities, for, you know, grandmas raising their, their you know, their grandkids. I mean, he was incredible. And forget awesome. it. And if you, if you like Prince, um, I'm sorry, I'm stuck in the chair. Um, you watch uh, when he was inducted into the Hall of Fame the same day that, um, brain fart, uh, George Harrison. They okay. did like an 18 minute something. Right, it was a long, Mandela. yeah, and it was um, no. While that's my not guitar George slowly Harrison. weeps. Is that George? While my guitar slowly weeps, and you can watch like Tom Petty and Eric Clapton, and it's incredible. And all of a sudden, like halfway through, I don't want to spoil it if you're if you're a Prince fan, but all of a sudden you're like, holy shit! He just takes over, and it, they're all looking at him like, mm. there is there is God, there is you know yeah. there is deity in the house, you know. Yeah, he's got those fingers. He's incredible. I love him. I love him. So Mo and shout out to Prince. Um, we have right here, we have Fab 912, like call on the phone in this era. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. All my friends, we all text like so much. And my boyfriend is like, do you guys ever talk on the phone? And I'm like, 
Yes, occasionally we do, you know. So yeah, I actually miss talking to other I humans to on the phone. We phone. talked on the phone. Yeah, I don't like texting. I, I know. Texting. I'm well, 37 you know why and I hate texting. And we're stuck on our phone. I'm 37 too. <laughs> and when you're stuck on your phone, like don't your eyeballs just like cross over? It's not good. So we do need to check in it's, on people. Honestly, it's for me, I call because something you could convey in a 10 minute text message, you could convey in a one minute phone call. Yeah, I agree. I'm a New Yorker. I just get down the brass. Get right to it. Yeah. And, and everything sometimes texts are taken so out of context. Oh, yeah. It's just it's just not and it's you not have good. to write LOL behind everything and like, but it wasn't that funny. Right. But um and you, I'm the queen of doing really long voice memos. I'm like, <laughs> hey Julie, da, 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 you know, this guy that you're dating, I think it's really good, and I'm so proud of you for putting it. I'm like, oh my god, that's yeah. So then you like my boyfriend's like, Did you listen to your you know your whole voice memo for the day? Yeah, my soliloquy from me and my girlfriends. By the way, you caught me. What? You are you a voice me. memo guy too? Because no, you got me because I called your phone and went. Oh, I up. You're like, hi. I'm like, hey, Larry. You got my voicemail. I'm like, I get everybody. My mom's like, son of a bitch. So I go like, hello, hello, hello. Hi, got you. I get my my parents are not happy with that. Yeah. I'm like, I may be a grown woman in her fifties, but I'm still so dorky that I get a kick out of that. That's fair enough because she knows you know that you're gonna get a response like, "Are you serious right now?" I'm sure it's not good for anything super, super professional. serious. You know, like, <laughs> oh my gosh, Lauren, we have we we want you in the MCU. Oh hi, got the message. What? I know everybody's <laughs> always like really genuinely. Kim, Feige, Kim Feige's like, damn it. There's ah. no audio. Oh, there has to be audio. Please give me some hearts on my Instagram. I'm sure. Thank you. Well, no, of course, there's audio. This is your. What are you Instagram. talking about? What is there has to be? Okay. Yeah. You are very beautiful. I love your work. Thank you so much. I got my my roots done and everything. Comic book the movie. Okay, I have to say a quick Oof. mockumentary by I can't see it because I should have my glasses on. Say where we're middleman and Scott Zarian. Okay, I think I said oh, that right. Forgive me if I didn't. So comic book the movie is a is a movie that Mark Hamill wrote. Oh, wait to bring this up. So Mark Hamill wrote this movie, and um, it's about a guy that just like has to find uh, he's obsessed with like these certain old school comics and he's a professor and he's going to do anything he can. And we decide to, I feel like the sort of bitchy producer and we're doing anything we can to try to, um, to try to get it made. So we were actually in Comic-Con filming. So it was Billy West for all you animation uh, fans like me, Billy West, um, Jess Harnell and Tom Kinney and his wife brought their son in uh, Max when he was like a baby. He was like, I don't even know if he was like five mm -hmm. to do a cameo. And no, this is before Comic-Con became, you know, it was like the year before, like Halle Berry was a Comic-Con just for being Halle Berry kind of thing. And I love Halle Berry. So uh, no disrespect there. But so, like, all yeah, this, I'm, I'm Catwoman. Yeah. Get out of here. Huh? How about that? Yeah, that's probably what she was there for, actually. Oh, 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 but we God. were able to, <laughs> We were able to walk through Comic-Con without anybody knowing at first that it was Mark Hamill. And then when people found out, we had to do, I had to do like a makeout scene with Billy West, but that wasn't on the Comic-Con floor. But Ladies and gentlemen, get that movie. It's really, it's really funny. And so we, uh, slowly but surely, there was this, like, ah, yeah, yeah, and people just started swarming. So we had to get security for the rest of the time. It's really, it's a great movie. It's hilarious. It's strange. It's wonderful. And Mark Hamill remains such a dear friend and supporter. Like I was on camera on the show on NBC called AP Bio, and he like tweeted out to NBC. He's like, "More misses." I can't remember the name of my character. Oh Shoot. My God. I mean, AP. so he's just such a fan and supporter of other people. I've heard work. of AP Bio. Yeah. What it is fairly recent. It's not that old. Yeah, I'm not in the second season. I'm in the first season. It's Dee Dee something, a nice Jewish mom for so one of the did, kids. When did it start? Like 2021. Like, um, no, it was right? before. No, 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 it was before COVID. But I want to say maybe 2018, something like that. So it's really fun, and the guy from. Always sending for yes, 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 Glenn. yes, yes. That's what like, I knew. I knew yeah. that because I saw the the previews. I'm like, oh, if he's in this show, it's gonna be obnoxious and stupid, and I'm in for it. Yeah. So he's I think really now funny. everybody uh -huh. go watch AP Bio because this amazing person is in there, and um, you, 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 and loot and curve. I got to do that during lockdown. Tell me, you were in the reboot of Curve, not the old old. Correct. So within oh. Curve. Um, the season 11, which it just got picked up for season 12, but season 11, um, they are trying to do a show called Young Larry within the show, mm. right? So it's these, this season 11 of Curve is absolutely hilarious. So my audition during the pandemic with people reading with me with masks on before everybody was, you know, vaccinated and whatnot. And so um, 
I had to shout out to my dear friend, Eamon and his boyfriend, Hunter, because they helped me do this amazing audition via like a Jewish mom at the dinner table. So I didn't stand up and go, hi, my name's Lori Allen. I'm five, six and da, da, da. I just started the scene at a dinner table with like, you know, plates of food. I knew you wouldn't see me, so I didn't have real plates of food. And then, so I got to be an actress playing his mom in this pilot. So let's just cross our fingers that season 12, they will be going back to do the show, Young Larry. No problem. You could bring that in. Hi. Thank Hi. you very much. Hi. <laughs> that he's is, so cute. That is Matt. He the most is, beautiful blue eyes. He's one of the fantastic people that we have here working at Streamly. How many people work at Streamly? A lot, actually. Not you guys are doing, aren't they doing such a great job? Because you get to, we get to like connect with you guys in a way that, you know, especially if you're not like at first until it, I felt a little more safe, I wasn't going to conventions and everything. Which is absolutely but now I am. Yeah, a little even bit, but the, even on the conventions, a little bit. Now. Yeah, I mean, you know, I've had best friends that are, you know, with all their shots and plexiglass, and it's still so. Just be careful, everybody. Yeah. Please stay safe. I still have yet to catch COVID. And, Me neither. And I went to San Diego Comic Con where everybody came out with COVID. I know. But it's like <gasps> it's just not worth it. I don't even want to know what the long haul symptoms might be. I'm just not interested. Yeah, I have I asthma. I'm I don't not, care for it either. I know. Yeah. You know, and, and I do know that everyone, if they're if they're back, so it'll keep you alive and out of the hospital. But I'm a big, you know, I'm plant based. Bizarre. I'm all about keeping my immune system up, and I do, and I am, and I'm really healthy. But um, I'm slightly, I'm asthmatic, and so I just, I don't, I don't, I just want to be careful. I'd rather not be in a position where I could possibly give it to somebody and not even know it. That is true. That I think sucks. Oh my God, extremely. You're on my chart. But you know, you know what we want you to do. This signature for this next person for Samuel Martinez. Samuel Martinez, hi. You are signing the Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater 3D for Nintendo 3DS. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. And we have a special instruction that says, right, prove your loyalty, Samuel. And, and next to the uh, Konami sign, mm -hmm. put your autograph. Okay. So Konami sign right here, and yep. then prove your loyalty, okay. I know, Samuel. I love it. Oh, Samuel, you just got make sure. a signature. Uh, I want to make sure prove your loyalty, Samuel. You got it. Not like you weren't loyal, Sam. That's why you're on here. That's why everybody's going to go to streamly.com slash L'Oreal and get some prints. We got some prints. You want to do some send-ins? We got that, too. Hey, there it's all go. good in the hood. That's right. Look at that. You got two oh. East Coasters. It's all good in the hood. Oh, yeah. So Nice. Tell me. Thank you. Tell thank me. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tell me how it felt from going from being one of the most fantastic people in TV. Sue Richards. Fantastic Four. Fantastic Four. <laughs> to being one of the most badass bosses. See that? The boss. See what he did there? Like, how, how did that work? Because I'm assuming that in a timeline with what we have um, in your shop. It was Sue Storm, I mean, Sue Richards. Mm -hmm. ah! Same thing. Ah, well, Sue Storm made a name, Sue Richards, uh, Mary. Mary Stop Reed Richards. the geekness right now. <laughs> Stop it. I call my dear like, friend, Bo Weaver, and of course, Quentin, my dear, 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 dear friend, um, is, you know, Johnny Storm. So he played my brother. So we've been friends since 1994. Uh, wait, friend? Quentin. Get the, mm -hmm. Yeah. So we've been very, very That's close awesome. since 1994. It's, it's amazing. I. I love him. I love you, Q. So, like, so you were a Sue Storm. I mean, Sue Richards. Then I would assume from what we had here, you were the boss. And then Pearl. I want to say that I was Felina Farrell. Then. Which we need to get your print, those prints in there. You're right. Yes. I think I have them, but it they're is. not great quality. So you have to help me with that. We will source um, Matt that you saw that. He's the one that. Hey, Matt. Them. Hey, Matt. We'll call, we'll call Matt back in. I think it went uh, hey, Felina Farrell. <laughs> Felina Farrell. Yeah. Um, and she has a question again. for you. Hey, Matt. Yeah. So, will you help me find a really good um, SWAT Cats Felina Farrell um, photo? Yeah, SWAT Cats Felina Farrell. Yeah, because I have one that's uh, that's like that. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my yeah, gosh. I'm gonna turn Farrell. around so people can see it. Farrell, so I'm gonna mess it up though. Wait, look. So that is really cool. That, that picture, I cannot seem to find. Thank you, guys. Um, so, yeah, so I have one, but it's really not great quality. But Felina Farrell, I think, because it's the first shot that I booked, and I remember being like, holy moly. And then, and then, <laughs> and then, and then Family Guy SpongeBob. And then when was the first Metal Gear? Um, 
Dude, 94, Dude. I believe. So then that was a good year because then it was SWAT Cats and the boss in 1994. When I dropped down my voice like that. Now I'm now my voice is but I've always had a low voice. I've had a low oh, my sister, my you mom, have, my aunt. You have a more sultry voice. Ooh, okay. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, no, this in Fantastic Four. Uh, like, seriously. Oh, the SWAT cast, like. This is so great. Like, you guys have to go to their YouTube, Stringley's YouTube channel. They're showing all this awesome stuff. And I did not even know it was one of them. I think I forgot as well. Good gracious. Like, SWAT cast, the mo most radical cats ever. But I just remember, yes, yeah, so Charlie Adler is a very Gordon of the two slot heads, but I remember sitting in the booth at Hanna Barbera and being like, wow. <laughs> I mean, like Jim, Jim, my hair is really curly. I had it straight today. I wanted to look nice for the boys here. Well, but it um, looks good. It looks good. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, but I, my hair is really curly. And so I remember Jim Cummings was just doodling, not being like creepy or anything. He was just doodling. He's a wonderful artist. And he handed me this picture and I was like, thanks, Jim. Um, so it was, that was intense. That was like really you know, for voice actors, like I had done commercials and I had done promos in New York. And I was like, oh, I'm hilarious. I'm a shoe in for animation, you know? It's like, hey, Miss, the need to stay humble. So I coach a lot because I certainly got coached. Um, that's why Charlie's my mentor. So I took a lot of classes and people think they can just get into voiceover. It takes a lot of, a lot of patience because it's a marathon, not a sprint. You have to be a good actor. You have to be really willing to play and make an ass out of yourself. Well, not the ass out of just, Good actor. Well, good actor, which you have to be really willing to play. You know, that's why I always encourage people to to take improv, go to the Groundlings, go to Second City, go anywhere Second online. City graduate, yeah. baby. Woo -woo. Groundlings in New York. Yeah, so you have to be willing to, when they say, you know, we don't want anybody who wants such a natural sound for commercial and animation, but are you still able to take direction? Are you going to be able to, like, hold that energy throughout the whole, uh, like, when we, we were talking about it with the rest of the cast and the poster signings for Metal Gear, if it weren't for Chris and myself, it would change my life personally and professionally. She was in my ear. We love him. We hate him. We want to kill him. He's going to kill you. It's just like, Bleh! we'd leave the sessions exhausted. But you you have to be able to be an actor. You have to have, it's voice acting. And it's a different skill set than on camera. They both certainly help each other. Yes. For absolutely. sure. But it's a different skill set that requires different kind of training. You know, so you've got to really source out your teachers and all that kind of stuff anybody that wants to do it so okay right and we have jackie h in the chat saying hi jackie we need to start the Lori allen cinematic universe wow oh my gosh what would that look like um all of your characters in real life well like, you would have to be per, well pro would be an interesting person <laughs> <laughs> i did get this huge balloon at um I think it was Dragon Con a couple of years ago, probably the last one before the pandemic. And someone made one of those huge balloon things. It was awesome of Pearl. Roger Bumpus got one of Squidward. Yes. And I literally, because I went to go visit my sister after Atlanta Dragon Con. And so I took her with me and I took pictures. She lasted like two weeks and it was crazy. I took her on the plane. People were like, um, you okay? Because she was sort of dilapidated. Yeah. And I was like, this is my Pearl Helium balloon. So they did a great job and it was, it was hilarious. Well, so that's what she would have to maybe be a balloon if all else fails. Since right? we're talking about Pearl, Bryson in the YouTube chat asks, um, "Can I please hear Pearl?" Oh, of course you can hear Pearl. I'm about to sign a picture of Pearl. In fact, this is Pearl in her room, just hanging out, you know, practicing cheerleading stuff. <laughs> and if you listen to Camp Coral, I get to be a baby. Well, they were gonna make me audition. And You're I was like, like no. I'm not going to do that, I don't think. I, I just, you know, I love Nickelodeon. I love my showrunners. I love my cast and my crew and everybody. I, I Stephen Hillenberg, may he rest in heavenly peace. And I just was like, oh, man, I hope I don't have to audition for my own part. That would be, that would suck. Yeah. And I instinctually, they were like, oh, it's going to be you guys when you're younger, you know? Oh. So I instinctually was like, ah, 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 ah. and I was like, there, dad, dad goes with daddy. <laughs> so I figured that that would... I swear, I swear, I just, I just want to hear you say, pork and beans, just once. Pork and beans! <laughs> We're so silly. This is so oh silly. My God. Oh, my God. You Did you ever what? have a different career? Oh, I, was and I literally questions. was going to highlight this one right now. Right. Girl, you are ahead of me. You got to let, okay. me, let okay. me breathe. Let me work. No. <laughs> but yes, from... Oh, we didn't answer that. Who was your favorite character you voiced before? Before we get to you, XX Marvel Pop XX, which is 
I don't have a favorite. They're so different. Like SWAT cats, it's also reminds you of a time in your life, you know, like SWAT cats was when I was young and eager and a go-getter. So that sort of reflected that. I love Family Guy because we got to do all these. You, things. I got the, to do the male lady, you know. You're still a go-getter. Yeah. So Thanks. I'm like, I don't know when you were younger, but like no, when, but when I, I was, was. When I was a young, I mean, when I first moved here. When you were know? hungrier. Yeah. Now you're just like, Psst. Listen, no, I never rest on I my laurels. I don't. I work. I work really hard. Um, and th that question that came up um, yes. about wh what else would I be doing? I wouldn't be doing anything else. First of all, I don't have a skill set. Well, I would be a good producer and a good makeup artist. But well, you're um, a teacher as well because you do classes. Yeah. So there we go. Yeah. He's, don't don't sell yourself short. Oh, baby, thank you. She, Pearl um, might be short, but you're well. Technically, no, she's, she's humongous. <laughs> she's humongous. She's ginormous. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's huge. Oh, that would be really fun to do that in real life. Oh, probably. Well, she, she's a sperm whale. Yeah. Sperm whale. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why she's a daddy's girl. It's like what? The whole building. Actually, the whole yeah, floor. Yeah, she would be the whole building, yeah. especially in Plankton, which there's going to be a bunch in that, but I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. I really did, don't. Time know. Out, did you sign an NDA? No. So you, then you're good. You can look at it. No, you should look it up. There's a Plankton movie? So I don't know. You should look it up and then we'll be able to say there's that. There's more oh. SpongeBob stuff. Cool. Yay. Right. <laughs> Always. Um, yeah, we're good. All right. uh, did I ever have a different career? Uh, oh, Thank yeah. you so Thank much. You it was so good to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. You guys are wonderful. I'm just going to come and hang out here. Oh, yeah. You, guys you can just absolutely. You know what? Because have a good day. Drink this. Well, it's either the cider or the truly. Hard cider. So it's a hard cider or truly. Either a hard sauce or a hard cider. Which one? Wow. Which one is more like literally like light and refreshing? I would say the sauce. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. All right. There you go. I have a bunch of food allergies. I'm uh, not going to hyperventilate on you or need an EpiPen or anything. Did I have another job? The job that I have, my mom's a wonderful actress. And every time that she was like, you know, getting ready for a play or whatever, I would watch her just do her like liquid eyeliner and cure on lines and just sit there and be like, and yeah. she, you know, my parents are both wonderful actors. So I would cue my mom. So that's when I, when I had a day job that was only a year, I sort of faked my way for Chanel. I worked for Chanel. Like at Bergdorf's and Barney's what? and Bloomies and Macy's in New York. You doing for I what worked for Channel for like a year. Snap. And then I, Chanel. I have a hilarious story about this woman who came up to the clinic counter. I don't think we're finishing any one sentence at all. The clinic? Your brain goes, pop, 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 just like oh, mine. Dude, I'm so I'm, happy. I'm an improv person. I will jump I on anything. Yes, and all day, every day. <laughs> all day, every day. There, so I was working at the Chanel counter, and then across from me was the clinic counter. And my best gay guy friend Thomas was there. And he's a tall African American guy, and so I could always tell where he was because his hair was like shiny, and I could always find him. So, so there was this woman, um, and she came up to the counter, and she was holding one baby, and she had like just gorgeous, and she had like she had like five, four other daughters, or maybe even five, and she was going up, and she was like, "That's my name, that's my name." The little girl, and she said, "Stop that!" She goes, "How much is a blush?" And he told her, "Goes." She goes, "That's too much," and then she she goes, "Come on, Clinique, we gotta go." She had named her daughter Clinique, which explains why the one daughter was going, that's my name, that's my name, that's my name, that's my name. So to that woman, whose probably children are in their 40s now. And I was going to say something else. I'm like, you know what? Yeah, sure. I, should, I shouldn't. <laughs> I shouldn't. Oh, and I thought, what are her other kids' names? Maybelline. Mercedes. Lanco. Diamond. Yeah. And most likely, yeah. Estee but anyway, anyway, we are. We, I, I had to definitely mum that last part, and we are going on to Rachel's signing. Beautiful. Look at it. It's that's like, my favorite. That's my favorite. Like, you look of the so box. badass, but yet again, it's like you're hard, but it's beautiful. The background, so it's like it's a, it's like a sweet, sweet and. Bitter. It's strong and yes, yeah, bittersweet and yeah. strong and vulnerable. Bittersweet. And, Duh! Again, not sweet, better. bitter, there's sweet. There's obviously a finality to that picture. Okay. Don't cry. Don't cry. What are we Don't saying cry. to Miss Beautiful Rachel? Rachel says, never right out. stop metal gearing. All right, Rachel. Sweet. Miss Rachel. Wait, wait. Hold on. Let's, let's do a practice just to make sure that that marker is running well. Okay. Yep, we're ready. Thank you, Miss Rachel. I love it. All right, we have a question from uh, Hotel Code on YouTube, and it says, what is your favorite autograph? Hold on, I can't write. Me. Shh, people, let her think. Or she'll just let a, a straight up Diane Simmons you and just try to, like, shank you. Well, not shank you, but shoot you off a cliff. 
Who did this? Oh, oh my gosh. Jackie 8 said, who did this? Oh, maybe it's Maybelline. Stop it. Maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> I love Yo, ladies and gentlemen, you guys are hilarious. That's Thank why you're Thank you, Miss Rachel. Thank you so much. There we oh, go. Yeah. So you got to show it to the signing camera? Up there. I did. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, did I? Yes. Yeah. Right. Sign the camera right there. Oh, here. Oh. Oh, oh. There we go. What? You had to do that better than <laughs> ah, I know I'm a singer. What can I say? I, I end up singing it all crazy, crazy times. Thank you, Rachel. What else? Who did this for me? Miss Maple? And that's, oh, that that's was, my that favorite was Jackie, autograph. That was Jackie H. Yes. Maybe it's Maybelline. But yes, Hotel Code on uh, YouTube asks, what was your favorite autograph? So out of the, all the characters that you do, what's like your favorite autograph? Um, I have to say it's really a tie between the boss, that picture of her in the field, or and Pearl in her bedroom. <laughs> They're such wildly different, crazy gals. So, so I think it's yeah. I think it's a cross between those two. What do you guys think? This is so fun. It's okay. so you know when you start to um, Google something like that's not what I meant. What uh, are you? Why is I know what it is. Over? Uh, you are. Oh a no! Fast it's typer. Life. It's like a boss. Uh, ah, this a fast typer. What else am I missing over here? Voice so far. There we go. Got that. There you go. Pennsylvania, New Hampshire. All right, East Coast. All right, West Coast, Oregon, New York. These are my people. How many years for voiceover? I've been doing voiceover since I was a kid. My dad, as I mentioned, my mom and dad are wonderful actors, and they met at theater school, and they had theater majors. They were at AU, American University in D.C., because okay. we're close enough where we grew up. Rob and I, and they were both theater majors. Then they went, my dad, they were at Arena Stage, which is an amazing um, repertoire theater company and then my dad went into it he created an amazing advertising company and I started he would put my sister and I in spots into commercials and oh. so um so yeah so that was probably like I was five I think my first voiceover was uh radio spot was with Willard Scott so very famous and I was like I love archway cookies Mr. Scott Mr. Weatherman so yeah so I've been doing it since I was five that's pretty awesome. Um, Go, micromanage, promote synergy, hit on Deborah, get rejected, like a boss. swallow sadness, like a boss. set some faxes, call a Now you understand what I was trying to get the yes. <laughs> I was like, I'm like, um, those two together I'm are the hilarious. boss. I'm like, it's not I'm the boss. It's like, no, it's like, like a, a boss. boss. <laughs> like a boss. They're like, yo, Lori Allen signs autographs like a like boss. Like a boss. But mm. this new autographs that we're going to sign, it's not a boss. But it's Pearl. It's Pearl Krabs. Thank you, Chris. I don't know if you want me to sign something on there or not, but I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going to be loud. Sorry, that's very loud. Sorry, loud. So he's like, the engineer's like, Lori, can you step away just like a lot from the microphone? Be like, yeah, we've, we've compressed your voice and there you go. So, Boom. Yeah, we, we need to bring the bass up like 70. To, Chris, to, oh, the yeah. best. Yeah, there you go. We have another question on yeah. Insta oh, well, on YouTube from Hank the Kip. What has Hi. been the most important meal of your life? Wow. That was like existential right there. Dude, I gotta think about that for a second. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. While you're thinking of that, yes. just to tell everybody, we've been on stream for 43 minutes already. Oh my gosh. Gentlemen. All right, so we'll pick it up. I'm uh, oh no, you had time. Like, we're, 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 what was we're my happy. most important meal? Yeah. Hmm. My last one. My, well, one of my, I don't remember what I ate before I became plant based. Um, I have works. really, yeah, I mean, I have crazy food allergies and I always have to watch cholesterol from my dad. So I stopped eating meat and pork and all that stuff long, long, long time ago. But I saw, I opened up with, um, with my dear friend Pia. We uh, had a charity that helped dog meat trade survivors because in a lot of Asian countries in the United States, all over the world, they, eat dogs, but not before they do something nasty to them. They believe that the more adrenaline or torture the dog has suffered, and that's horrible. But so I was helping a lot with that as much as I could in my spare time. And a dear friend of mine, Sky Valencia, said, do you, if you're running an animal charity, you might want to, you know, look at how factory farming is done. And that that's, they're just as bad as the, what goes on with the, um, 
the dogs. And so the most important meal that I don't remember what I ate, to be honest with you, and I hate to get all serious, but it's true because I believe that we need to be a voice for the voiceless, like the animals, because it affects our climate, it affects our health, and I, you don't need to wear them, eat them, and all that stuff. So whatever I, the first meal after that, when I was like, I don't need to have animals in my diet. I'm plenty healthy and you know what I mean? Yeah. And so, um, so that, that first meal, probably once I was conscious of what I was eating and who, who I was not eating because cows and pigs, especially, they just love their young children. And so there you go. So that's my, my pledge and my whoop whoop, uh, for being, um, that is admirable. for being plant-based. That is very admirable. You that. think about how we're just trashing our forest so we can have more cattle and it doesn't make any sense. And the emissions that, they alone set off in their toots and everything yeah, like that. Yeah, cow, Gary yeah. Anthony Williams, Tara Strong, we did an amazing um, job, if I do say so ourselves. We lent our voices to this amazing animal kids, uh, animal ki animal hero kids. We looked them up on Instagram. They're great. My friend Suze, Suzanne, and she, um, uh, Susan, excuse me, Susan Hargraves. And um, we voiced that, and we're three vegan voiceover people. So I really respect um, folks who can, it's, it's uh, yeah. So the, the book is called Veganza. There it is, right there. Yeah. So yeah. Tara actually plays that, and I think I play. I forget who else plays the voice of like Lovey. <laughs> yeah, I, and it looks like Tara. Yeah. I, I I helped her cast it, and I was like, let Tara be the, let Tara be Veganza. I'll narrate it. So yeah. And it's great. where can people find a copy of Veganza? Yeah. So AnimalHeroKids.com. There's it's a great site that they have. And um, it's know, it's just know. really incredible. And then you can follow them on Instagram. Well, it's animalherokids.org. It's dot org. Thank you. Thank you. Know you know what? I will. No, you're good. I am going to post this in the chat. So if anybody wants to go check this out, please. Thank it's in the general. Oh, I so appreciate it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I, I'm really I'm really happy you did that. That makes me emotional. I appreciate oh. it. Well, you know what's more emotional? <gasps> oh, oh dun, 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 snap. Dun. Ladies and gentlemen, look. Oh my God. Oh my God I got it. You guys, we're gonna finally get one. I'm gonna start to cry because I haven't. Oh my God! Look at these. So we have a multitude of different um, incarnations of Metal Gear in here. As oh you can my see. gosh! Wow! 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 I have not Ooh, seen this. I can't wait to get mine framed. These are beautiful. These are. Thank you to you very, guys for doing this. Very special. I think this is your friend Holy that's moly. calling. No, that's not my friend just oh. yet. Hold on. So give my beautiful me friend. Gonna... Let me just see who this is. Okay. Just to make sure it's not another town. Yeah, 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 yeah. One oh my second. gosh, you guys, can you even see the plethora of these amazing characters? They did this for us. And this is just, I mean, when I think back to the games, the ones that I'm not on, of course, with this show, but it's just so beautiful. When I got to meet um, Hideo, we saw some of the the, the artwork at the time, you know, the stills. And I got to hear the theme song and I was like, oh my God, to Metal Gear. It's it's just, oh. I've never seen or heard anything like it. And thank you, Rob, for you guys for putting this together. Oh, the well, quality of it is incredible. I will, I will give credit to one of our TAs here, which his name is Joe Stimson. Thank you, and, Joe Stimson. Thank you. And thank it was you. his idea Absolutely to gorgeous. have this, uh, have this print. And I believe it was a collaboration between Joe and our print master, Marco. Um, to put everything together and get this done. Well, these are incredible, you guys. I'm so grateful because I don't have this one either. So now we'll all have one. Yes, we're actually ordering new ones for you guys. So, oh my gosh, that's great. So let's go one by one. Okay. Write these out because by the time we're done with these, okay. your friend should be here. Okay. And then. Do we sign these live too? Yeah. Oh, yeah. great. We're signing these live right Silver here. Silver or gold? Now. What do you um, suspect will be good? So. Mr. Armstrong, yes, in gold. So you can either sign silver or gold. Let me see. Everybody else gold. Okay. Um, so Tasha, cool. she did gold. Paul eating is gold, and of course, Kate. So. Well, <laughs> I'm like, of course, Kate is silver. Well, I created. You're like, I'm so coming. I created them. So right, I'm gonna see. do silver. Let oh me. my god, he's so cute. He's like, let me handle the pen. Oh, no, no, I'm saying, let oh, me just make sure. Yeah. Pen. Yeah, we're great. I just want to make sure because these are beautiful prints. And they are there stunning. Are no stunning, stunning, stunning. Look you. And this is why, ladies and gentlemen, you need to go to streamy.com slash for you. See, now what we need next is yeah, we need to get see? we need to get the cast of family guy here. Oh my god. So that we could do it. Right. Um, I wanted to show the first one. Look at 
Thank you guys. This is so nice. Look at this. Thank you to the guys that did this. I mean, this has that weird smell, first day of school smell, and the Sharpie, so I may start acting a little weird. All right. Yeah, because you know, people would actually do smell that stuff. I, I'm older than you guys, but you'd sit in school and be like, no, teacher, I'm sorry, you called on me? You, you, you I definitely the, was a good sniffer. You sniff, uh, the, sn uh, the scratch and sniff markers? Yes, of course, but I was definitely like a crayon eater, and a, that's gross, but uh. it's true. Um, Miss Allen, can you please remove the Elmer's glue from your nostrils? Exactly. Sorry. I don't know why you not. That's a good voice. I like that. I like that. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my audition for Miss Lori Allen right now. I'll take it. <laughs> You've got a great voice. You're an actor as well. Yes, I am. I am starting to become a voice act over oh, actor. I hate when people are like, yeah, I do VO. What have you done? Well, small well, things. I'm not a VO actor. I'm sorry. Woo woo. Um, yeah, but you got to start somewhere. You know, that's why it's always great to stay. Again, stay improv, stay in class. Oh, um, you know. And always like to keep a curious mind and like let go of the results. There's this great Brian Cranston quote. I bet you I have it on my phone, but I'm using my phone. Mm -hmm. And he was asked, like, what made his. I think he was asked before Breaking Bad. You know, what was his. What would he have told his younger self or whatever? He said, well, I'm not going to tell like my 20 year old self. I'm going to tell my older self to, to have this mindset of not what can I get from the job? Not what can I get from these people, get from this job, money, residuals. What can I give? So yeah. Because if I set myself up with expectations, I'm going to fail, yeah, especially absolutely. as an artist of any kind. And so I really have taken that to heart. Like, what can I give? My job as a, any kind of artist is to go in there and give um, a great performance is to take risks, is to make amazing choices, and that's been a game changer. So for anybody who's a perfectionist like I am, a recovering perfectionist, mm -hmm. um, uh, let's get it on the table. Oh, there we go. So you have more. No, I. So I totally understand. Isn't that, that isn't that a great way to think of it? It is. Like when when people are like, "Oh, dude, you didn't get that part." I'm like, "Yeah, whatever. We're not tonight, dude. Like, it's a part." It's one of many. That's right. And you have to think of it that way because otherwise it becomes so personal. And then you don't have like a full rich life outside of your um, your career life. And then you're sort of like, who am I? And you're not just your career. You're a full fledged human being. And then the more you're enjoying your life, then you can bring all those weird people that you love. My yeah. boyfriend's like, why are you constantly listening to me and everyone you meet? I'm like, because I do voiceover, so my ears are <laughs> antenna. No, it's just and you pull great characters from from listening and watching people. And it, it's like this industry is just it's so interesting because there are times that you have those people that are extremely close knit, like, yeah, I, I can't help you, so sorry. And those people are like, oh yeah, here's my information, hit me up anytime. Yeah, and it's, yeah. It's, coach it's, me at loriallen.com, yeah, happy it, to help. Okay. Well, there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, sign up. I'm actually going to probably sign up as well. I would love that. Happy. Um, Happy to. You should. That would yeah. be really fun. Because I'm um, going to be looking into your class. I'm going to be looking into Richard Orvis' class as well. Oh, my God, Richard. Stop it. I love him so much. Yeah. He, he, well, he, he and I are like a lot of people. So much. So it's like, yeah, you guys are awesome. Um, I know I was talking to Patty Matson. Um, mm -hmm. So if I was she gave me. She's like, oh, you need to do this. You need to go there. I'm like, Patty, you are awesome. And she is a ball of energy herself. She is a ball of energy. Richard and I are quite similar. When we were at Dragon Con, that same one that I was telling you about, we were, <laughs> I think it was Quentin and Richard and I, we were at a restaurant afterwards. And I think we almost got kicked out. We were all like, lady, just like <laughs> all of us doing like, ah, dually, and Jerry do And everyone was like, um, can you guys just kind of keep it down? And we were like, sorry. Hello. Hello. We're flying in high. The lady. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with Lori Allen Hyman. Oh, I'm, I'm, isn't that Jerry Lewis is not there? No, he still has this something. Or is he there? No. Hold on, time. I gotta. My Google dad that. is obsessed with Jerry. I gotta go. I, I I don't know if he's because I feel like I know Dick Clark has. Uh, oh my there. God, that's terrible. Someone's gonna. You did not know that. <laughs> no, I don't know, and that's yeah, so silly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He passed uh, in 2017. That One I, of the most complicated, amazing, generous human beings. Oh my gosh, what character is this? He looks like Tom Hanks without looking at it real close. You could play Celebrity, you know that game Celebrity, with a lot of these characters. They're very unique and on their own, but like. And who does the boss look like? The more amazing, gorgeous L'Oreal. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, yeah. Uh -huh, okay. Yeah, but Richard is Richard. Um, what's the show? Uh, 
something in Mandy. Why am I losing Bill my... and Mandy. Oh my God. So I remember being on that show and Quentin's brother, Bart Flynn, who's a wonderful actor as well, voice actor. And he had to do this character that just farted. And he was like, I mean, and we were just like, oh my God, I have to leave the studio. I like tears streaming. <laughs> but that was with Gray and, and Richard. And that was a hilarious. I don't even remember what character I played in that. I don't care. Remember, it was just so fun. Dracula does not bite. He scratches. Huh? He does not bite. He scratches. Who does scratches? Dracula. He oh, scratches. Dracula. He doesn't bite. He okay. scratches. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Yes. I almost forgot what it is. The boss. Come on, like a boss. Because Rob is so cute, he's distracting me. He's well, on purpose. I think that is a, a lie, but I appreciate that. I would say I am that chocolate that um, I look so good, I'll give you diabetes. But... <laughs> You're so sweet. You give me a cavity. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> There's someone who's naked on this poster. Ooh. What? It's probably um, right Naked. Here. That's some cod piece, I'll tell you that. Hello. Anyone who can well, see the signing. I, I see, I think, I wish I could just go back to that clip and like, hmm, huh, you better be hung. Oh, no, you better be big. <laughs> That's what I think. Okay, let me go back to that line one more time. That is uh, hilarious. You can do like 47,000 things at once. I love it. That's the New Yorker. My, one of my favorite. The best of Diane Simmons. I don't even have, you have to send this to me. Oh, wow. This Diane right. Simmons. You don't look anything like the ad. You better be huge. <laughs> you better be huge. <laughs> you better be huge. Huge. I love when we're telling the news together and we're high and we're like, this is a black I, weather forecast. I, I, I wanted to put this one on, but I'm like, ooh, it's a little bit rough. But now, oh, please, I'm so inappropriate. You're telling the truth about cheating on your wife with that Filipino drag queen. Well, at least you're in no danger, Diane, since you only visit church to leave your self delivered, unwashed, half dead newborns on the back step. Meanwhile, here at <laughs> I was like, ooh. I was like, I don't know if I should put that in a compilation. I don't know if even <laughs> Seth can get away with a lot of this stuff anymore. Not but now. I'm oh, pretty, no. no. Oh, man. That's my favorite one right there. Meanwhile, here at home, Kohak remains in the sweltering of the room. Uh, I don't think you should Oh, no, that's not what she's I talking about. Guys. They're the just, she's just topless, pretty much. Finish your old deal, um, I don't think we, we all mind that at all. It's Diane. I'm not a lot gonna... of my characters have been topless. We're all a little or, different, you know, Diane, each one of us. Good point, Tom. We're certainly feeling the effects of this heat wave even here in our studio. In California, right? Freak. Now. So stay inside and stay cool. Freak! Freak! This was the best. This was the best. The avant garde. I haven't seen remember? this in years. Uh, and the best part is when he does this. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Santa Claus from the five gate. I have not seen this in heat like. <laughs> Finn is the name we of my interrupt this broadcast oh, to bring well, you a breaking news story. Yeah. We apologize to Joan of Arcadia's sanctimonious, fear-based, and probably overweight viewers. <laughs> oh my God! Can I cook or what? Is that the, 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 the what? We should be Good eating speech, her with Seth. <laughs> oh, oh, that was They're just hundred dollars. Can, can I just Trisha talking all? It's crazy. It's just gonna be hungry again in an hour. Oh, oh God! Because. That's not okay, Seth McFarlane. Yeah, listen, we're old enough. That shit was funny. Stop that. All that right. Was funny. Oh. <laughs> yes, we're getting the. Oh, he doesn't suck. He scrapes and licks. That's what it's it a is. A big difference. I get it. <laughs> that is so funny. Thank there you, Clint. I've not seen that in oh, forever. I, oh, we will be. One of my favorites is when she. Let's get a play uh, it is in the um, a King and I. She does the production. Yeah, it's an exciting and she has a talk show. At the Renaissance Fair jousting me. Oh, are you playing Lady Tiang? Mm -hmm. I was supposed to be Anna. Yeah. Oh, well, they did an all you people version of Hello Dolly that was very successful. Today, oh, we'll see some of Kohog's wow. finest athletes struggle oh, valiantly it. against God's twisted designs. You'll cheer, you you'll cry, you might even get a cheap lab or two. I know I will, Tom. Like in fact, there's a distinct you possibility that by the end of the day, we'll all, all be going to hell. To hell. There, the plane has safely I've landed in Cuba, and all Americans all aboard are on their way home with the exception of one couple, a fat man who is inexplicably married to an attractive redhead. Here's an artist rendering of what they might look like. How many is too many? Sounds like there's a pattern developing, Oh, a pattern developing. 
Well, Diane, I guess you've learned a lot from staring lifelessly at TV reruns of CSI over the thrusting shoulders of whatever drifter you drag into your bedroom on whatever night CSI Maybe. is on. Thursdays, Tom. Thursdays, Tom. Thursdays, Thursdays, Tom. It's Thursdays. Thursdays. No longer apply. That's right, Tom. Our own Asian reporter, Trisha Tom, Tom Noah, Noah filed, filed this report. report. Yes, take oh, that away. by yourself. Oh, <laughs> by yourself. <laughs> What have I done? <laughs> what have I done? I love you, Alex. Love you, Alex. Alex Bernstein is it's yours, Diane. And since the laws of death no longer apply, I can do this. Oh, oh, oh my oh, God. That's right, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right after. <laughs> and now it's time for sports. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. Company, all television transmission will be out for an undetermined amount of time. Of course, no one can see this news program, so it doesn't really matter what we say. I'm the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> get drunk and beat up some midgets. How about you, Diane? Well, Tom, I just it's plain don't like black people. Oh, that's well, not that's true for me or Diane. <laughs> <laughs> My mom was like, are you going to date only the brothers? Yeah. She was in high school, they yeah. into college. And... Uh -oh. Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys! Hold up, time out, time out. Does anybody know where that's from? Yes, I want to see it. Someone of a certain age must know it. Let's go back. Let's go back to the what the the comments. Oh, well, Let's right. Let's go back to the comments. The comments now. have stopped because everybody's just paying attention to us. But because ladies and gentlemen, are these the ones that are signed? Right. Yes. We have and just a few more. Thank you, you for hanging out. If you did not know, home. that's from the electrical. Right. And it was it. Re <laughs> it sounds was like Pearl. Wait, go back. Oh, All right. Received this message from the electric company. Hey, you guys! That is yeah. early Pearl. We didn't even know it. Oh, do you need to text Seth and be like, by the way, as Diane, I discovered early Pearl. Somebody text that to me. I tweet that at him right now. He said, fact, you're like, no, don't text him. Please don't fuck that. It's never again. Um, and with only 87 the, suicides uh, and widespread looting, there's this think dear this friend of mine who does, well, Diane, that last report was so who has an account on Twitter, bring Diane back. So, you know, I don't know why this thing's going to be That frigid old cow lives in Quahog. She can't hear a word I'm saying. Actually, we're back on the air in Quahog. <laughs> I, I use that fan picture where she's getting spanked. I use that. After several growing days of fighting uncertainty, I finally get my period. I finally get my period. Now I don't have a job anymore. <laughs> Tom has dared me to do the news, news topless. topless. I've got the goods, but if I've got the guts, find out at least. Cohog is infested God, with loud, hairy creatures, awesome. also known as Why family guys are awesome. You two are gonna have so because much fun. it is it is the cartoon version of. Uh, in Living Color. I like that. I auditioned for In Living Color and I almost got on the show and I would have been on with Jim Carrey and Jayla. That would have been my season and all the way in Brothers. Yep. I remember being flown out back in the day when you just didn't do like self tapes and send them in. Oh, they're like, I got flown out here. I got flown out here. It was amazing. That would have been fun. In Living Color. In Living Color. I was a, in Living Color and Mad TV person. I never really was into SNL. Yeah. Oh, I love SNL. I mean, how much do we love? I won't say who I voted for for the Emmys, but it was one in the female lady comedy department. Mm-hmm. Um, I love. It. What is her name? I forgot. Kate McKinnon. No. Oh no. Molly um, Shannon. No, 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 no. Which time no. were you with later, Molly? And she's so later, talented and later. amazing. It. Uh, it was a duo. Um. It was. Anna Gaster. No, 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 no. It was a duo. Two females. Um. She has a scar. That you could barely see. Tina Fey. Tina Fey. Oh, I almost got I, SNL too. It was right after Tina Fey left. And they're like, Do you have brown glasses and everything? I was like, Yeah, because you sound like you could do the news. And I was like, Ugh. <laughs> So you like smelling this stuff too? No, I'm blowing it so it doesn't. No, that's not why I said Sharpie smell. Sharpie smell. But I will. Oh, and we're done with all the posters. Hi from Thailand. Hi. And hi, Zeb. Hi, sweetheart. And big hugs right all your back tie, to you. All your Thai friends and uh, viewers, if you want to print, go to streamer.com slash Lori Allen. And we've been literally on the stream for well over an hour. And it feels like we've been here for like two seconds. Um, how many voices? Oh, how many years for voiceover? I'm just making sure we didn't miss anything. Yeah, how many years of voiceover have you been doing? Since I was five. So, ladies and gentlemen, she's been doing voiceover for 25 years. That's right. Um, like, mm -hmm. We need an MGS game about the boss. No kidding. Don't you think, how many people think that there should be a prequel about the boss? I think that would be, I don't know why, I don't know why we can't. How the boss happen. became the boss? Mm -hmm. 
Let me see what the name of that would be. Oh yeah, let's see what the names of that would be, guys, if you're still with us. Um, I'm just making sure, my apologies. Oh my gosh, I got it. Oh, I signed, yes. The name of the game is three months trial period. The boss before becoming the boss. Three months trial period. Yeah, because you have to get your three months trial period for, before you're like fully on board full time for your job, then you gotta work your way up to the boss. I just think that it would be an absolutely incredible, incredible incredible game it would just yeah. it would explain so much and it's sort of like you know on unlike the more like you know kids version side of everything like camp coral something like that but i can't tell you how many people are like i have to know her story i have to know how she originated because everything spawns from there so if and, you if you can't do a game if, if kojima's like no oh, yeah no. yeah 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 i would suggest doing Try to do an audio book or like an audio cartoon of that because that's what me being a big wow. movie. Here, I literally was talking to Alistair Duncan earlier. I'm like, um, that's a great idea. Yeah. I would have never thought of that Seriously. in a million years. Because I'm doing, I'm on Casting Call Hub and I applied, I submitted for the voice of the War Doctor for Doctor Who, like a, a fan edit. And I'm like, I'm a movie and I want this. Yeah. I want this bad. Yeah. And I was just like, yeah, you know what? If no, if the big people won't do it, just do your damn self. Get get somebody to do it. No, it would be great to have it. the animation and David, and then there's some yeah. major players. You know these guys it, they're already do really it. good friends. So just do it, and then all, and find a way to either we you should, could do it into put it into a festival, or just find a way to monetize it, and just either you could sell it on iPhone, on like iTunes for like five bucks a piece. Oh my God, are you serious? We get to know the or, like the origin of the boss, and you guys, you guys would know better uh, um, a lot. You know a lot more of of the story about the boss sometimes than I do. That happen. Every actor will say that yeah. because you guys are amazing and tell us stuff that we've either forgotten, you know, or things that 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 really resonate with you that we don't even know about. So that would be thank you. That's really cool. And then Jackie H. Um, interjects and says a boss game would be great. Getting to see all the Cobra, Cobra unit, unit members. Yo. That would be badass. We'd have to help. You know, I wish there was some way to involve the fans so that people, you guys could help us write it. You, there's I mean, tons of things. Like, you, mind you blown, mind all blown. These, these, fan, these fan things that are done. Like, yeah, Minecraft fan, fan videos that are done. All you need is just the animators. You have your voices to recast yeah. them. And since this is, like, featuring you, you could be the casting director. That's incredible. Just do it. Like literally, and on top of that, it's like you have side characters. Put it, uh, put it out there, and like this is a chance for some uh, aspiring voice actors to actually be working alongside established mm -hmm. voice actors. Something that voice actors don't get the opportunity wow. at all to. Do. No, it's really hard. Breaking into the VO business now is different than when I you first started. Think. I'm trying. <laughs> over yeah, here. It's harder, but the thing is, the good news and the bad news is that, yay! Yeah, no, uh, we got confetti because the posters are signed. <laughs> yay. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, you, you may hit this. This is dangerous. This is way better than the staples. You got that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is a bad like. Get, oh God, you you need to take this and the cider thing away. It, from it's me. like oh, one more time. <laughs> Walking down the street and like all of a sudden, random. like your, your your boyfriend comes in, and be like, "Hey, hon, I got this what new bag for, for you." <gasps> <Thank you. laughs> You're like, you know what? That dress would look nice on you. <laughs> Thank you, honey. <laughs> and just anything that you agree with, be like, you know what? I think I'm gonna go for a double finger burger today. <laughs> That's you know? hilarious. That's <laughs> either migraine <laughs> inducing or hilarious. One or the other. I said a little bit of column a little bit. Zeb, yes, I love Prince. Sorry, I'm behind on these. Um, no, it's fine. And we literally have been so on the stream goodbye. for an hour and eight minutes. How does that happen? It feels like we've been on for like 20 minutes. Did I ever get to see Prince live? Okay, so I've seen Prince live like five times. The last time that I saw him was downtown here at <sighs> Club Nokia or um, to my friend Karen. Yes. Yes, good. So it was at Club Nokia. Club Nokia or the Staples Center or the form, I can't remember. And I paid good gosh damn money to see him. I was in like the fourth row and I wanted to make sure I got an aisle seat so I could see him. And some security guard, there's a very small aisle and he's like, ma'am, you're going to have to move in. And I said, you know what? My booty is out by like three inches. You cannot do Say that. I paid now? like 600. Say what? Why your booty know. being out six inches? Out of context? Oh. A Prince concert, <laughs> bought tickets from my good girlfriend, Fee and I, because we just were obsessed and screaming and freaking out. And he sang to me. I was like, 
I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> you know what? Is it time for us to go? Hey, Lori. Yeah. You don't have to be beautiful to turn me on. But yeah, we're yeah. going to leave this stream right now, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So tell me your socials now. My socials now are... I'm going to change everything to purple. I did everything in purple <laughs> when he died for like a year. Aww. What am I? Lori Talk 4 on Instagram and Lori Allen 1 on Twitter. And then I have a fan Facebook page that I need to get to more often and I will yes. be better about that. I promise. I promise. Absolutely. And of course, everybody, you know that you could go to streamly.com to see all the upcoming signings that we have right there highlighted on our website and as well go to streamy.live to see all of our upcoming talent and upcoming silent signings as well and if you have any questions for any of the talent or any have any questions for me hit me up on my social media at official rob fury at all official. social media official rob fury so with that <laughs> I'm, I'm, i told you you shouldn't have put that in front of me fair enough i'm going to leave you with the last words just kidding have a great evening stay safe stay healthy it's the most important thing you can do for yourself and your country loyalty to the end thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me and rob goodbye everybody <laughs> That's